The first day of the January transfer window is here. In the last episode, I told you it could be either myself or my brother, who is either loaned or transferred away from the club. And as I was performing great as of late, I thought it was going to be him. I thought the manager was going to walk into this room and tell me that your brother was going to be leaving on loan. And you all told me that I should follow him wherever he went. But it was exactly the opposite. The manager told me that he wanted to loan me out for the rest of the season and that he wanted to keep my brother. As he plays Cam, he said there were many other options at striker that he wanted to give a go with the rest of the way out. And I was put in a very uncomfortable situation. I didn't want to make my brother leave. He didn't want to leave either. So it was time for me to say goodbye. It would only be for a few months. But this would be one of the first times in my life that I was sent away from home. I said goodbye to my bro and to my mother. This would be it. I had no clue where I was going to be going to. But one club was going to blow me in for the rest of the season for these next few months. And then hopefully I'd be returning to play with my bro. If my brother would have been put in this situation, you guys said that I should follow him. But he did not want to do the same. He wanted to continue playing here at Anderlecht. I think he just felt comfortable living at home. And, well, we'll be on our separate ways. For the first time in my career, playing without my brother by my side. And at this point, I'm taking a taxi to nowhere because I have no idea which club I'll be moving to. My father would be the one to help me out in signing for this next upcoming team. As you guys know, he's a professional football agent working with some of the biggest talents around the world. And I am not one of those biggest talents. I'm probably the worst player of the bunch that he works with. And he tried for days to find a club that would take me in on loan. And he had to dig down to one of the worst leagues in Germany, the third division. But he found me a promising one, a club that I could potentially grow at in a club that I think you all know what's coming. A chance to play for Bayern Munich. Yes, that is right. Bayern Munich 2 is the club. It isn't the best one that we could have gotten. It isn't as good as Anderlecht by any means. But it is a club that we will be guaranteed playing time for the rest of the season, which means we will have a chance to score a lot of goals. We will have a chance to grow a ton in our overall. And obviously, we are playing for Bayern Munich. We will be having Bayern Munich scouts from their main team watching every single game and training session that we play in. So although it isn't one of the better teams that we could play for, we are in the third division in Germany. It will only be for a half a season. And if we do well, well, let's just say the opportunities could be endless. And a chance to revive this club who, about halfway through the first season, they are not doing too well. Bayern Munich 2, though, is a club that obviously wants to go and win the league. But that isn't really their true goal and their true test. They are more so trying to develop young players like myself. So I'm super excited for this opportunity and super excited to move in to my new house that I'll be renting out for the next few months. It's actually a very, very nice house, but if you may have seen, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So not much to do out here, but you know, drive to training, drive to the matches, Hang out at my house, watch some TV, play some video games, sleep, eat, poop, repeat. That's all we're doing here at Bayern Munich, man. It is going to be a bit different, too. We got a bit of a language barrier here moving from Belgium to Germany. The first time that I'm ever leaving the country as well. And you can check out my room, man. It is actually a very nice crib. It's a very nice place. I'm very excited here and also very nervous. The first time being away from home. This all will be a massive learning experience throughout. Germany, you aren't ready. Jordan Jarvis has arrived. Game one, here it is. Bayern Munich two. It is going to be a very interesting one. The team 
is definitely not as good as the club we just came from, Anderlecht. The league is not as good as the Belgium Super League. The competition is a lot lower, which means I should do better in this league, right? I should be able to perform at my highest level. I am one of the highest rated players in the league, not only on the team, in the entire league, that's how good we are. So we have a chance to be very, very dominant. We're thrown straight into the starting 11. And boys, this is gonna be an interesting one. With a chance as well, I should note, if it ever came down to it, with a loan to buy option at Bayern Munich 2, a chance to grow at this club and potentially stay. Although that isn't my goal. I would really, really love to return after this spell. But there it is, boys. 1-0. We go on and get our first assist at this club. Literally 15 minutes in, and I can already tell. This season is going to be full of goals. It's going to be full of assists. It is going to be full of a ton of action here. What a start. What a goal. What a pass, boys. Your first assist from Jordan Jarvis in the goals would just continue oh boy man would they keep on coming the team we are playing definitely is so much worse than so many of the clubs that i'm used to playing in the belgian super league apologies if you are a fan of this club but when you're scoring goals like this you know it's gonna be a special season boys two nil the first volley of my career and it's a big one 20 second minutes Boys, are we just going to be doing this every single match? Are we going to be getting hat tricks every single game and three, four plus goal contributions every single match? It might just happen. What a goal. And as I was talking before these goals went in with a loan to buy option at Bayern Munich, it isn't my goal. I would not want to stay at Bayern Munich 2 for a long period of time. Obviously, I want to return and reunite with my bro, man. One game in, although we may be dominating, I miss being out on the pitch with him, man. We have such phenomenal chemistry and just our overall playing ability, man. It's just, it's unmatched when we're on the pitch together. Although this game has been great. Honestly, I would trade it all to still be playing with him, man. A chance to get one back and they do. Rostock, hopefully I'm saying that right. Apologies if anyone out there is a fan of this club. I mean, hey, you're coming back against us to 2-1. The lead cut in half, and here we go. Maybe this isn't going to be as easy as I thought, although, eh, this might be our defense's fault. Attacker there kind of just splitting him in half and just so much room to run in behind. A chance to equalize, and it all could be falling apart. Oh, my God, another open pass and another open opportunity to score. It's 2-2, right? I mean, although we are attacking at will, two early goals from us. Haven't been able to do much since then. This is 1-2 that in joining Bayern Munich 2, I am in no way, shape, or form trying my hardest. I mean, I'm trying my hardest 100%, but if we do not win the league, it will not be the end of the world, man. I'm just looking to perform here, score some goals, and basically just show the manager at Bayern Munich show the manager at Anderlecht that I should be taken back to the club and show the world that I'm a legitimate footballer and it will be done with game-winning goals like this. Goal in my debut let's go boys what a chance what a moment what a run man we go from the halfway line march all the way down across the box inside far post three to two two goals three goal contributions in my debut and that one was special man a 90th minute game winner jordy jarvis take a bow what a match what a debut, man. This is going to be a fun season. Like I said, we're not going for trophies. There really isn't too much pressure overall at this team. But score. Put the ball in the back of the net. Have some fun. And I think this is probably the best thing that could have happened. Everything happens for a reason. And I'm very excited to see what this season holds. 
Leaving the stadium, man, hours after that match ended. I was in the press conference room taking interviews for the longest time. A lot of people here in Germany are excited to have me. You know, I was touted as a very up-and-coming prospect going into Anderlecht. And being such a big, promising talent here in the third division in Germany, a lot of people are excited to see what I can do. Some people saying that this was really great decision for Bayern Munich given the fact that if I perform well I have a chance to maybe stay at the club and so many questions in that last press conference asked me the same thing and they all asked if you got the offer to play for Bayern Munich the main club at the end of the season would you take it and I gave them the humble answer over and over again I just told them I'm happy to be here and we'll see what happens in the future but it's something that I had never really thought about until that last game. In getting loaned out to this club, I thought it was always just going to be a short spell in a trip back to Anderlecht. But what if that does happen? It could be a realistic opportunity, but I need to start growing a little bit more, man. I'm only 71, 72 overall. We're not very high rated. We're the perfect player for the German League 1, German League 2. I mean, Belgian Super League, obviously. It's where we were just playing. I don't think I could compete in the Bundesliga right now, man. Where I'm at, I still need to be training more, growing more. We got a lot left to do if that is our end goal. Let's get in, boys. To this next match, we're taking on one of the better clubs in this league. So this one should be fun. What a chance right there, man. <laughs> nice save from the keeper. I'm trying a few spectacular shots. You guys know how this series works. You guys know I always got to try for one or two long shots. Got to go for glory. Got to try to score something special. And this one right here, I'm not going to lie, coming from the opposition. Yo, this one was kind of dope, man. What a goal. 1-0. Munich right here. I believe TSV. Am I, am I pronouncing that one right? 1860 Munich is the proper pronunciation of this club. Can we get another look, man? Just look at the dip. Look at the dive on this shot, man. Fair play. You know what? I'm going to just... Stand there and applaud this one because look at this one. Best angle right here. Oh, the keeper doesn't even stand a chance. Curling down 1-0. And that would do it for the first half. A little bit of a different vibe right here. We're playing one of the more legit clubs from this league. A team who is actually fighting for promotion unlike us. This is a team that wants to take it all. And we're going to try to stop him right here. Grounded shot on the left. 1-1. 54th minute. We grab another Jordan Jarvis. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The fans here are loving me at this new club, man. To be honest, though, asking a real question, like, in real life, boys, does Bayern Munich 2 have actual fans? Like, do they do they actually have supporters? Do, do they have players or fans at their games? Because I must feel like they don't. Who would be out there supporting Bayern Munich 2? I, I don't know. Is, is it actually a thing? Let me know in the comment section down below. 82nd minute, boys. A chance right here at a game-winning goal through can we do it again no no we can't that would be how the game would end or would it are you kidding me back to back game winning goals arriving here at Bayern Munich 2 I mean, man, if, if the scouts weren't watching me now, if the Bayern Munich scouts weren't watching me now, I don't think they ever would, bros. This is just the dream start to this club, man. We have the biggest, quite possibly one of the biggest teams in Europe here we're playing for, their second team, and we are shining like this. And now playing a more legitimate opponent, one of the better clubs in the league. I think the eyes are now on me, and people are starting to realize, yo, Jordan Jarvis? Who is this man? People are starting to look at me, questioning me. The Google searches are coming in, man. Everyone's looking where I'm at. Who is this man, Jordan Jarvis? I'm starting to make a name for myself, boys. This season, I can already tell, man. It's going to be very special. And special it was indeed. Three months into the future, and just like that, the final game of the season. What could be my final game for Bayern Munich 2? As I mentioned, we were never really fighting for promotion. Seventh place in the league, but we've been scoring goals. We've been making a name for ourselves, and we are up amongst the top goal scorers in the league overall. And me, I've kind of just been chilling, man. I'm not going to lie. I have been a, a fair bit lonely here. 
playing for this club. My daily routine, go to training, and that's about it. Play the games and drive home. I don't really have too many friends on the club. We're all speaking different languages and such. But I got one friend. I had to get myself a dog, man. I kind of been super lonely here. Although I've been playing super well for the club, I had to get myself a friend to hang with me. So I at least got someone to hang out with on uh, the weekends and such when we're not playing Fuddy. And this is now it, man. This is the final game of the season for Bayern Munich 2. We've simmed ahead in the future. I've simmed a bunch of games. I've played a bunch of games off of the camera, off script. And I think this is more so how we might do some seasons. You may see more games than others in some seasons. You may see less games than others in some seasons. Whatever I feel is gonna be best for the storyline, you guys will see. And for this part of the storyline, I just didn't see it necessary for you guys to see every single game for Bayern Munich too, because more or less it is the same. We're playing here for one of the lower league clubs here in the Bundesliga. We're either gonna return to Anderlecht next season potentially move to another club or play for Bayern Munich 2 again next season. So let's just get this first season done and dusted in the third episode and we'll see where we move from here. Here we go into the match, the final game of the season. Boys, comment section. You guys will get your decision vote at the end. As you guys know, each episode features a decision vote for you. You guys get the opportunity and the chance to vote on what Jordan Jarvis will do next and what happens next in this series. Although your decision vote, well, didn't really come to fruition this episode because we ended up being the one that was loaned out. Had it been my brother being loaned out, we would have followed him to whatever club he was moving to. As I'm speaking, finally a goal is scored. It just doesn't come from us. 1-0, Bayern Munich 2 Falls behind. Good goal right here, man. And it was just kind of about time. Although, this game means nothing. I mean, the whole season, in terms of wins, losses, jobs really didn't mean much. We're not winning the league. We're not finishing in any spot that matters. There's no Champions League, Europa League for the German League 3. I am interested, though, to see what happens next year if the, uh, the Conference League comes into play. Not that that would matter here, but I'm really hoping that gets added into FIFA next year. I think that'd be really dope as it's uh, coming into play in real life and this one we continue to perhaps edge to becoming out of hand here as that one could have nearly been two nil and put the game out of reach man i'm trying to score in my final game this is my first chance though at a free kick man free kicks are my specialty this one though was just a little bit too far out man i, I ain't no ronaldinho or freaking cristiano ronaldo this though right here is how a free kick is taken that one was a lot cl closer to be fair and this one is going to result in an L. Although we weren't going for a league title or anything, it would have been nice to win, like, the final game of the season. I am disappointed we couldn't score and we couldn't go out with a dub, go out with a few goals. This one is a 2-0 defeat. But overall, man, I got to be very happy with that season. And I've definitely improved my game. I've definitely improved my skill. And I think a lot of clubs out there were very unfamiliar with me when I was looking to be loaned out in January. And I think a lot of clubs will be familiar with me now maybe not massive clubs but we definitely have a bright future ahead of us well i can't lie it's been good but i'm returning to anderlecht to negotiate my contract with them it's either stay and play in belgium back with my bro or find somewhere else but as i was leaving look who was at the door man it was my pops it was my father, and he had one thing to say to me, one thing, and that was, put those suitcases away, because you've got an offer. The main club, Bayern Munich, they want you. Boys, this is a massive decision vote. We have been offered by the main club, Bayern Munich. We might not play there a ton, but it is a massive offer. We either go to the main team, Bayern Munich, or return to Anderlecht to play with our brother and go from there. This is a massive decision vote. Put in the comments.